Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here of the FM23 series as we climb up the English Pyramid, at least we try to. Uh, right now we're a top 5 team in League 1 as we take on the best team here for this episode against Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday have been a dominant team mainly because of a loanee they have from, uh, as far as they have a loanee from Tottenham that is just a savage and a half. Uh, he's got, thinking 24. Three appearances, he's got like 24 goals, he's he's uh, he's going in. He's going to be a problem, for sure, as uh, for this game now. We, uh, we're hopefully going to nullify any of their counter-attacking approach. We are the home team, so that gives us a little bit of hope. Uh, but, you know, as far as our defense, it's still been very, very good with 21st right now. We're actually uh, underscoring what our uh, goal potential is right now. As we'll take a look at the data up for this. This would be nice. Nice to see. As Yeah, actual goals at 35. Or our XG should be you know, 45. But we actually have the same amount of points as XG. Which is kind of weird. We're supposed to be third. Right now we're fifth. I was just kind of just... Analytically, it's pretty cool that... You know, we were projected to be a team that... Obviously, we just came up from League 2. A lot of teams don't really bounce back like we do like this. When you go up... From League 2 to, to League 1. And you're looking to make a nice little run. And so far we've done that. Zach Emerson did bruise his ankle. And uh, this was a tough call though. Because he hasn't played in a while. Because I was resting him for this game specifically. I hope he does well. You know I really do. Because we, we're going to need him. Uh, we're going to have Lewis Flower as his backup. Who, another guy that really hasn't played a whole lot. We're really rotating a lot. That's, that's kind of the big thing for this game. Which probably is a mistake. Because uh, there are a couple of guys that's like, oh, is it a good idea to really play these guys? Maybe for a big game like this, we should probably put our best kind of 11 out there. But honestly, you know, the the season, it's still so much can happen. I'm really just looking forward to seeing what we can do out there. I will say this. I'm kind of looking at, at some of the lineup, like Ben Morris getting the start. I don't really like that. I think we're having Mustafa come up as the other winger. And then on the left side here, uh, we're going to have, see, see who's going to be the man for this. Because Dave Johnson's a good idea, but I think we're actually going to go with Sam Hervington on this side. Just kind of looking to see, because, yeah, um, Kenny Koki, you know, we haven't really played him a whole lot. I think we're going to have Dave Johnson come in ahead of him. Now, Basin Burstow, he has been our best player as far as ratings-wise. He also has 10 goals, too. Or Lewis Flower doesn't have any goals. Yeah, we, we should probably just do that. We're still going to have Burstow... Yeah, I think we're going to have him be on our bench. I think Zach does a little bit more in the, in the beginning. Actually, you know what? He is faster. Let's have Bursto start. Why not, right? He's also got the bruised ankle. We're kind of changing things around here. Sometimes you just got to look at it right before you run the game and just kind of look at what your team's looking like and kind of make your changes from there. Is Morgan Finney healthy enough? Ah, he's just kind of... It's an excellent fit. I kind of want everyone to be at their peak. It's kind of the idea. Yeah, it looks like the guys we brought in also are at their peak too. So yeah, oh, actually Mustafa is an excellent, but... He also has the partnership that we could use really well today. It's him and uh, him and Joe. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we're we're working with right now. We're hopefully gonna be a team that uh, I don't mind playing through the middle actually, because even though they only have the wing backs out wide, I think they're gonna have some trouble out wide. Now here's their fucking yeah, thirty three appearances, twenty five goals. He's been Unreal. He's leading the league in goals. He, he's a he's a savage. And George Hurst has six goals on seventeen appearances. Not really all that great. We uh, and he started nine games. We need to make sure he kind of gets more chances, obviously, than Tucker Roberts. But that, uh, that probably isn't going to happen. Uh, really, with this though, I like I like what we got because they got a back five. We got a back five. I do like their ball playing defender as the middle guy, though. That's that's impressive to me. And defensively, though, ah, now I'm kind of looking at our defense. We could probably use some some size out there. 
Because Luca's probably the one guy I'm like, eh. Because he's 5'9", and we, we don't need a 5'9 guy out there. Especially with what we have going on today. Kobe Small gives us some size, and he gives us a partnership too. And he's also, I mean, it's excellent peak again, but um, he should probably play in the middle. Just from how the partnership's going to look. Uh, yeah. We'll have Toby. I actually don't mind both of them being on cover. Uh, I kind of brought him down a little bit. Yeah, him as a stopper's interesting, though. I think we'll just have Kobe be on the fend. Yeah, there we go. So another change. Uh, let's see, we got Darko. Darko's not really needed, to be honest, because I think we'll have Rafferty come on. So we could use... M oh, yeah, we'll bring just Luca on. It'll at least still be in the 11. It'll just be... Well, it'll be outside the 11. It'll be a sub. Yeah, I mean, at least the team's looking good. That makes me feel better. Because we are morale-wise. We're doing really well. We've, um... Since November, we've only lost like two or three times. So we've uh, really been rolling at uh, this point in the schedule, which is great. You know, because it's really the tough, tough run. You know, you're coming off the new year. Yet, um... Got a lot of tough teams. A lot of tough teams right now. In League One. A lot of guys are clicking, but especially the Sheffield Wednesday team. Uh, I mean, that, uh, that region is just fantastic. But we are at home at least. If only could see the 32 goals and 43-some games as well, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, and, he, and of course, Aaron Lee, Tucker Roberts scoring a lot. It's crazy we have the same amount of losses as the top two teams. So that kind of shows you, I think... Even though, you know, right now we're fifth, I do agree that we should probably be third. That's kind of how we've played, but well, that, that might change. A win or a draw here could really change things up, standing-wise. We're starting off with the ball, which kind of wish we did not. Honestly, wish we would kind of nullify their attack in the second half, but that's a terrible pass. 17 seconds, already giving it back to him. Why are we clapping? What, what are we doing? MK Don's down two points. So that's interesting. So even if we lose, we're still going to be fifth. Grena Barena. Good free kick here. Toby's not going to win that, though. Yeah, there's the region with the header. And they're going the other way, potentially. Oh, no. There we go, Sam. Interesting shot attempt. It gets blocked, and they're going to snag that, though. Does Mendoza. And they're going to look to potentially go the other way. So far, though, oh, we jump up to fourth now. This thanks to uh, Swindon. Scoring. Great first quarter, though. Our first quarter. <laughs> look at me as far as I, I got uh, American football in the brain. Great first half so far. For, first 15 minutes, they haven't had a shot. We have uh, really made sure that the ball is kept on this side of the pitch. That's a great chance here. I love our numbers. Then we completely fucking bottle it. Bad pass. There we go. Kobe Small making things work. That could have been really bad if we didn't get that pass off. That's a good ball over the top. Bursto with a good chance. Ah. Good save. Good save. Good save. Thought we had him. Thought we had him there. Identical pass completion percentage. They've actually had more possession, which is fine. We don't really need it for what we like to do. Hopefully another bad pass here and we can get things going again. And they're marching up the field this time. Here we go. There we go. Mustafa now. Looking to go out wide. Cross coming. Interesting. Sam actually won the header off of that. Yeah, we're looking like a good team. Looking like the team to beat today. And you get a corner. Even if we lose, well, I guess technically we, we, we need a draw, but if we still hang on to this draw, we'll still be the fourth team in the league, though, so. But I would love to get a win over Sheffield Wednesday. This would really be something special. There's Earthy. He's there. Swinging it, potentially. Yep. Swinging it again. Swing one more time. No, no. Nope. Gonna kick it back. Oh, I like it. We're in the box. Oh, now we're out. 
I get why they're probably not doing it because they, there's that defender who's just right there. That wing back is right next to. Oh man, I just you know I I wish we at least tried it at that rate because nothing was really working. Oh boy, yep, there it is. Through ball, Tucker Roberts has a one on one. He's got some good speed on him. Oh god, I thought we fouled him for a second. Thank God. Yeah, that's uh, that's how they can score in a hurry, though. Oh my God, we're already going the other way. Joe now swinging it. We're not uh, finding the mark with our crosses into the box, though. That's kind of one thing I wish we were doing better today. Terrible shot. No need to be doing that. Especially with the game we're having, it's gonna make sure we take the most out of our chances. Mendoza now goal kick. As long as we keep on pressing them like this, it's going to make it to where they have to really, you know, you're not able to think. You just have to react, and it's, so far it's causing them problems. But again, they were just uh, one pass away, really, there. I mean, if it's a better pass, potentially a little bit more on it, they might potentially make it 1-0. That's a great cross. Never mind. Hell of a clearance, but we're there again for it. Toby. Joe, Joe, going out wide again. Good cross. Like the first touch. Here we go. Oh, just barely missed it. That was a hell of a header, though. That's the thing about Sam. Even though he's not really the tallest winger, pretty athletic. He's able to get out of the... and win those aerial duels and... out jump a lot of fuckers. And so far, Toby's been the worst guy on the pitch. But, uh, I mean, we'll take a 6.5, honestly, for having the worst guy on the pitch. We've never been the better team, but again, we start off with the ball, and we dominate possession. It felt like for the first, like, 10 minutes. Still a lot of time left in this half. Obviously, still a lot of time left in the game. Here we go. Yep, just make sure we stop him. That's a great ball over the top, though. Damn, what a shot. It's a free kick, though. Even with that bad angle, he was still able to make it to where Wilderness is going to have to get a hand on it. Well, Swansea's now losing. How about that? And Barnsley taking the lead thanks to uh, this draw as of the goal difference. Here we go. Corner. Eight shots, five on target. Great first half, though. We have been a dominant, dominant team. Here we go. That's out going in. Oh, wow, never mind. What a fucking miscommunication play from Sheffield Wednesday. I thought Mendoza had it, but one of their defenders, yeah. He missed the interception. Volks. I think that's how you pronounce that, but yeah, this is a, a costly, costly mistake here. It looked like Mendoza had it. Isn't that great? What a header. And what a goal right at the end of the half. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, now we're 58th. You know, we're a couple of points behind Swansea. And uh, obviously now, I think uh, also working on the set pieces during training really paid off there. As long as we make sure they're not able to get a goal and keep it to where they have been just struggling offensively, we should be fine. I don't think we'll make any subs either. Yeah, let's, don't get complacent, though. This is a big, big game. If we can snag this. Again, just really rotation. That, that's the big thing if I could preach to anybody about you know, trying to make runs up from the National League through... The you know League Two, League One, and then the Championship, and obviously the Prem. When you're kind of going up the pyramid, you gotta have a deep team. Uh, you can get away with it in the National League, but even so, just those games, the the seasons are so long. Oh God, that's yeah, a great clearance. Thought he was gonna foul him. You want to make sure that you can rotate into where at any time you have a fresh team, especially when you're playing at home. You're gonna have your your home supporters there. And what's funny is, 
even though we're like a top, you know, top club right now, we're still not even, like, I don't even think we're at 50% capacity. Nobody shows up to these games. I'm not sure exactly why. Because uh, we seem to be a pretty good club. All things considered. This is also a 300th game with Carlisle United, funny enough. Actually, it might be our just a 300th game in general. It might actually be our 300th one with Carlisle United, though. But I'm pretty sure it's just our 300th one in general. As Shrewsbury Town beating up on MK Dons. Oh, look at Mustafa, though. Good chance. There we go. 2-0 now. A uh, beatdown. Now a Sheffield Wednesday. Jesus. What a game. Mistakes there defensively, though. Again, just, um, we're making the most out of it. Another set piece. Obviously not how he intended, but Mustafa, good chance. It looked like they were going to clear it. Mistake there. And we make them pay for it. Will Dennis is going to have the easiest clean sheet ever against a top team, though. It wasn't going to look like that at the beginning, but fuck. It definitely has turned into that. Yeah, we're going to have Toby come off for Luca. Now we don't really care if he doesn't have the signs. Zach Emerson's going to come on. Uh, Zach. Yeah, we'll have uh, Kelly Gabrani coming on. Georgia's actually played really well, but uh, we need some, some fresh legs out there. And our final sub. Uh, we'll actually wait. Oh, wait, just in case somebody gets injured, because I really want to win this game. Three points here would be very, very huge for our club. We'll see what we can do now with some of the fresh legs out there. Denver's going to make sure that is not cleared. That's a good ball from Denver Hume. Good ball into the box. Oh, he's off sides. Damn. Yeah, I can. I see it now. Just, uh, I was looking more at the person with the possession instead of guy that was about to pass it, and it's Will Dennis with an easy snag there. Again, only one shot. We kept the top goal scorer out of any type of chances to really make things happen today. Oh my. Oh, Mustafa again. Good pass, potentially. Damn. Oh, there we go, Dylan. What a... Oh! A 3 nil lead would have been fucking massive. As George Hurst is coming off. Man, oh man, that would have been huge. Yeah, Mustafa's playing really well, but he's now getting tired. I think we might have to sub him off. He's been the player of the match, though, for us. He's been fantastic. I thought Jarrell was going to score again. Well, against that pieces, man. Story of the game. Damn, Luca gives up possession. I'm going to throw in. Yeah, I think now we can make that change. Bring on Dave Johnson. There we go. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, we're getting after it. Oh my god, Denver's gonna save it again. Denver Hume now. Easy pass. Oh, it was there. It's gonna slow it down. Yeah, I guess we got nothing to, uh... You know, we don't need to keep on attacking, but boy, it'd be great. The more goals, the better here. Damn, Mustafa actually won that. Bolton beating Knott's County. No surprise. Bolton there, uh, there they are outside looking in, trying to make it into the playoffs. Cambridge as well. Wickcomb is also 50 on points, but if we can get into the 60s, there will obviously be a team that will look to be in the playoffs. It's Cambridge trying to hang on to that lead. Over Luton Town. Damn, Wickcomb. Pointing on him. How about that? One shot from Sheffield Wednesday. Just a fucking suffocating defensive game. 16 shots to one. I figured we'd play well. I didn't think we would dominate them. You know, this has been quite the surprise. I think the conditions also helped us out. Because the way we play, we're pretty... We don't really look for, like, a lot of through balls, a lot of... Long passes. As I say that, though, Zach Emerson might have a good pass here. Damn, he had him. Dave Johnson was wide open. But Emerson now with a through ball. Potentially crossing it in. No, gives up possession. I'm, you know, honestly, 
the change, even though they played about the same rating wise, oh god, they might score here. Never mind, go be small. Or not there. I think um, some of the big changes were the fact of uh, we switched Mustafa to being on his kind of dominant side, that right side. That really helped us out. Let's see what Hume can do. He's got one more in him, I think, for a good cross. It's there. Damn. That's, I mean, the, our wingbacks have really been the deciding factor, too. They've been great. Garena Barena's been great. Of course, obviously, the goal off the set piece. We've, uh, we had a dominating performance, though. Domination. Very, very impressed. I don't want to say it's a fluke, but it might have been. Home field advantage for sure. It's hard to say that it's a fluke when you beat a team 2-0 like that and they only had one shot, but I, I just honestly think they were not ready for this one. Not ready indeed. One fucking shot. That is crazy. Slowing the game down, looking for a chance for our corner. Maybe to make it 3-0. Yeah, the five foot nine Lucas Stevenson as the uh, guy on the other end of that. That's not working out. That's a good pass. They're trying. They might get one. I don't know if they're going to call it. Huge. Huge win. And Swindon beat down as well with a 2-0 victory. Well, that's how you do that. My God. Easy, easy day for Will Dennis, though. Only had the one save. And that is why we are one of the best teams defensively. Right there. We keep it on them. We make sure that if we have possession, it's on our side of the pitch for as long as it can. As far as, uh, you know, just... Even though they had a good percentage of it, it really did seem like any time we had the ball, we were on the attacking side of the pitch. And that just, that saved us so many times, I think. Because even off of, if it's a corner, if it's a throw-in, we have a chance to be able to get something going off the set piece. And just, uh, yeah, just fantastic stuff all the way around. And again, we just, uh, we keep the wins coming. It's, uh, it's been a great couple of months for the club. And uh, with us keeping on getting wins, us being familiar with our tactic, everything is just rolling at a... Just a high, high level. The sky's the limit, really. Uh, if we play like that during the playoffs, watch out. Hell, we might not even need the playoffs if we keep this up. Uh, it's going to be tough to really combat that level of um, goal difference and even just the point itself. But, I mean, Swansea gave us a beating, though, before. So we know they're a tough team. I think this was kind of a one-off. I think if we would have played Sheffield Wednesday like during a playoff game, we'll probably get our shit kicked in, to be honest. But, who knows? Who knows? Barnsley beating Blackpool as well. We play MK Dons coming up too. If we can beat them again, we um, Bolton will probably jump them. If I had to guess with that goal difference, I don't really see how they're going to make a nice run at it. But uh, yeah, just uh, what a fascinating win. Fascinating game. Can't can't beat that when you just beat down a team like that and they're now the number two team in League One now after that performance as we jump up and uh, we're now a, uh, a team to remember for sure and a team to, to watch out for as uh, the next time you'll see us. Gosh, I don't even know. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, we... It's crazy to think from December onwards, we've had one League One loss. And that was a Swansea game. Other than that, it's been wins and draws. We, uh, probably Barnsley. It'll be the start of April. We'll just kind of see how it, how it looks going into the playoffs. Hopefully, if we keep this run going, we'll be a team that, uh, will definitely be making the playoffs. But, uh, we, if we kind of collapse here towards the end of February, end of March, it might get a little dicey. But I just, the way we've played, we went on a good run at the beginning of the year. And we've been on a good run here towards the latter half of the year. 
really this kind of stretch from October to really the October November stretch was pretty tough. Other than that, it, it's been smooth sailing, and hopefully we keep the the good vibes going because the locker room is just rolling. Uh, we are playing at a high level. We're looking good, we're feeling good, and if the wins keep on coming, we're going to be a tough team to beat. That is for sure. And if we play like we did today, my God, uh, we're going to be impossible to beat. So uh, as far as from that perspective, thank you all, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.